Okay, well, this week's video, I decided to switch it up, and instead of doing a ship with me, we are doing a what sold video. So I'm gonna go over everything that sold on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 10th, 11th, and 12th of March. But instead of me packaging up, I'm just gonna be sitting here, sipping my coffee. <laughs> and taking a little bit of break from filming while shipping. But um, if you're new here, I film Ship With Me videos every Monday and go over what sold over the weekend each and every week. And then I also have videos out on Thursday as well. So if you like reselling, thrifting, entrepreneurship, making money online, then welcome. I'm happy to have you. And if you are back after watching videos past, thank you for joining me once again. Okay, so. I'm trying to, I was trying to think about how I feel about this weekend and really I'm surprised, I'm shocked. I'm surprised that sales aren't like insanely great but they're a lot better honestly than they should be because I have not been listing this month and really haven't been listing too much since Tomas left and that's because I still have not really figured out my systems yet, that's one thing. And then the other thing is I just have so many other things going on now so the fact that I'm listing as little as I am, and in fact, I had listed less than 50 items when I had these sales in March. So I am definitely down. I typically list between 300 and 400 items per month. Um, and so being a third of the way through and only having listed less than 50 is uh, very poor. But 300 to 400 was with Tomas. So I'm now you know, trying to figure out what I can expect for myself when I am solo in this business. So in that context, I'm really happy with how sales are going. Um, in general though, like compared to last year, sales are way down, but that is of course to be expected. So typically March is one of my most profitable months in reselling. So I hope that is the case for y'all. Let me know in the comments down below because I know some of y'all were saying sales were slow for you uh, last week, which sucks. Uh, but let me know, is it picking up as we get further into March? I'm really curious. All right, so let's start out with Friday. Friday, March 10th was actually, oh, it was almost my best day, which is surprising because usually it's Sunday and it was Sunday. They were almost tied. So Friday I had $413.98 in sales and I had a gross profit of $257.22. So let's start with eBay. Actually, I had two eBay sales on Friday, one Mercari sale, and then a bunch of Poshmark sales. And those are the three platforms that I sell on right now. eBay, the first was this dress. I had had it quite a while, uh, so I decided to let it go for 50% off. But it was this new, without tags, I got it through liquidation, the great, the derby stripe midi dress, got it in liquidation, had it listed for $300, which was probably appropriate when I listed it, but I think since listing it, probably the value of this item has gone down. And that's something that can happen, of course, if you have an item that's just sitting a long time. It could be that since you listed it, the value of that item has just decreased. And so if you're gonna relist it, you probably wanna check comps and um, potentially reprice it. So when I received an offer on eBay for 150 plus 7.99 shipping, I decided to go ahead and accept it. And that gave me a gross profit of $114.26. So that's great, but it did take 274 days to sell. So I still love selling the gray. I love finding it at the bins um, and I'll pick it up and pay up for it too on occasion, depending on the piece. But I do think the value is has declined uh, compared to maybe a year or two ago. Okay, next is actually, this is a piece that Tomas found when we went to the bin, so if you guys watched that video, I'll link it up on the screen. For those of you who are like, who's Tomas? <laughs> Tomas worked with me for three years almost, um, and then they just left and got a new job. So, and I'm about to launch the podcast, and in the first episode, I'm talking all about that transition and going solo and my, um, strategy in doing so, which of course I'm still figuring out, but I'm just gonna talk all about that. So very excited to get that launched. I'll let y'all know when that's coming out. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do so because I'll probably announce it first there. Okay, so um, this was a House of Harlow, which is an in-house Revolve brand. It's actually Nicole Ritchie's brand with Revolve. Uh, Ren tank bodysuit, got it at the bins for 84 cents, had it listed for 30, and then I had it, you know, a little while, 136 days, so when I received an offer for 18 plus 4.99 shipping, which is 40% off, 
I went ahead and accepted it and that gave me a gross profit of $12.96. And for those of y'all wondering, well, how do I calculate gross profit? Gross profit is after my cost of goods, my platform fees, and my shipping costs. And yes, it is gross profit. Gross profit includes all cost of sales. Net profit would include all my expenses. So net profit would include this office space that I am currently sitting in right now. Um, so yes, gross profit, $12.96. So those were my eBay sales of Friday. Moving on to Mercari. I thrifted this Free People Game Time Tea in extra large. I think it was brand new because it was in stunning condition except for one little uh, stain, which I disclosed. But I thrifted it for $12.99. I actually bought it with the intention of selling it on whatnot. Uh, but because I'm just now so busy, I haven't had a whatnot sale in a while, but, um, my listing price was $40 and then I received an offer on Mercari for 34 with free shipping, which I accepted. And that gave me a gross profit of $11 and 58 cents once I took away shipping and everything like that and the fees, but it sold after six days. So that's great. Um, it was a really quick flip. I paid, I mean, for a free people tea, $12.99 is pretty steep, but I made, you know, my money back. I, I almost matched what I spent on it and then it sold really quickly. So I'm not mad about it. Okay, so moving on to Poshmark sales. Uh, the first was this new tag abound polka dot shorts. This is an in-house, I think Nordstrom Rack brand abound. Uh, it doesn't retail for much money. I had it listed for 20 and it sold full price for 20, which was great, uh, which gave me a gross profit of $7.98 and it sold after 83 days. So that's not too bad. I was actually, you know, as far as how that sale could go, that's kind of like the best case scenario. So I was happy about that. And then I had a Figs Zamora jogger scrub pant. Love selling figs. Got this at the bins for a dollar and 11 cents. Had it listed for 38, received an offer for 28, which I accepted. And uh, that gave me a gross profit of $19 and 27 cents. And it sold after four days. Thumbs up, happy about that. Good, love figs, one of my favorite bread and butter brands. So, and then moving on next was a Prana, another great bread and butter brand, short sleeve pocket t-shirt. This was just a t-shirt, a men's t-shirt that I got the bins for 81 cents. I had it listed for 22 and it sold for 15, which gave me a gross profit of $9.17. Did take 95 days, which is about three months to sell. And I don't know if I'd pick up a Prana t-shirt again. It depends. Um, there was a time period which I was really short on inventory, so I was just picking up everything I could. I don't have that problem now, especially since I'm not listing. But uh, there was, when I had Tomas here, that that was the case. So I um, probably wouldn't pick it up today and now I'm more selective, but uh, then it made sense that it did pay off. So next was a bundle sale. Um, it was two pieces. The first was this Draper James Sailor Stripe sweater dress. I got this at the bins. It was a really great bins find. I love selling Draper James and it had a cost of goods of $1.04. I had it listed for 50 and then with this bundle sale, it sold for $33.68, which gave me a gross profit of $24.90, which is great. Sold after only 44 days, which is a little over a month, about a month and a half, which is good. Um, and then the next was this Sorel Ella sandal in a size seven and a half. I think I showed this in a recent Thrift With Me video, which I'll link up on the screen. These were great. I got them for half off for $4.99 at a regular Goodwill. Had them listed for 45. So in this bundle, they sold for $30.32. And that gave me a gross profit of $18.25. And they sold after only five days. So that's great. I would definitely say if you see some good sandals at your thrift store, pick them up because I think people are buying sandals, buying shorts, buying swimsuits, of course. Today is like one of the first warm days here in Portland. So I definitely feeling the spring vibes. I didn't wear a coat today. I only wore a vest. So I'm just very, very happy about warmer weather, hopefully coming and staying. <laughs> Okay, um, two more Poshmark sales. This new tag Tiger Mist uh, high waist pants. I actually got these at Goodwill. They are new tags, but I got them at Goodwill. They were also half off. Bought 
I bought them for $3.99, but I had these for quite a while. I had them listed for $45, and so I think I received an offer for $22, just went ahead and accepted it, uh, which is about half off. And that gave me a gross profit of $11.59, sold after 200 days. Tiger Mist is a brand I would recommend picking up around that price range or less. I wouldn't spend too much on Tiger Mist. It doesn't retail for a lot of money, um, but it's a very trend, trendy brand, uh, and some pieces can sell rather quickly. I don't regret picking it up. I think it was a good flip, but 200 days took a little bit longer than I thought. So my last sale on Friday was a uh, jumpsuit that I had sold before and it was returned. I don't remember why. It was, I think it was returned on eBay, just no reason given. And then I finally listed it and it sold again. So this was a new Free People Iris cotton blend jumpsuit and I got this through liquidation. I listed it for 85 and received an offer for 50, which I accepted. And that gave me a gross profit of $27.26 and it sold after only 81 days. So that's not too bad. All right, so those were my Friday sales. Saturday, um, I mean, honestly, this weekend was pretty consistent, pretty happy with uh, how this weekend went. Again, surprised that, it's, <laughs> that it did this well. So Saturday sales uh, were $366.18 and my gross profit was $177.52. So let's go over what those sales included. Okay, the first was if you watch this channel, you might recognize this dress, this Pizarro Knights new tag dress. I got this uh, on Whatnot. I actually sold it on eBay before and then it was returned, which happens to me on eBay. I do accept returns, but the buyer pays for shipping. So I didn't lose anything in that return process. Um, but I spent $46 on this dress. I had it listed for $165. I received an offer for $100 plus $9.99 shipping. So I went ahead and accepted that and uh, it gave me a gross profit of $32.69 and it took only 29 days to sell, so not bad. I probably could have got a little bit more for it, but honestly, I'm happy with that sale and I needed that sale, so it was good to make that 33 bucks in gross profit. Next was another eBay sale, I had two eBay sales again on this day, and it was a new tag one state Rena booty. Really cute, I got this through liquidation. I have. I think other ones as well. And in liquidation, this cost me $9.81. I had it listed for 58 and it sold full price. But again, on eBay, I am constantly running a 10% off sale. So it's 10% off. So 58, um, 10% off plus $9.99 shipping, which came out to $62.19. And that gave me a gross profit of $25.45 and took 192 days to sell. And I have more. So those aren't flying off the shelf, but that was a really good sale. I mean, a full price sale. I was happy about that. All right, and then I had, what, five Poshmark sales. So the first was this new Attag Madewell Light Spun Midi Dress. Uh, really cute, got this through liquidation and had it listed for 75 and it sold to an offer to Liker for 52. For those of y'all who don't know, I have Posher BA running at all times on my Poshmark closet. And what it does for me is it first shares my closet, so I don't even have to think about that. Another thing I don't have to think about, and it makes a huge difference, is offers to likers. So anytime someone likes something in my closet, they'll automatically receive a 30% off offer. A lot of times that results in a sale. So this software, which costs 25 bucks a month, and if you use my code, you'll get 20% off your first purchase. You can purchase a year at a time, and so you can get 20% off a year, which is a really good savings, or you can get 20% off your first month. But also, you get to try it for two weeks free. So you might as well just try it, see if you like it. And two weeks is definitely, uh, a good amount of time to see, you know, are you gonna get a return on that investment of 25 bucks? My guess, if you have more than like, say, a hundred or a couple hundred items, you will. Uh, depends on how, you know, many sales you're making per month, but definitely, definitely worth it. And it's gonna, I think, increase your sales. If you don't have an automation tool on Poshmark, highly recommend getting one. Um, and Poshmark is my favorite in what I use. So, anyways. Sold this to an offer to liker generated by Posher BA and had a gross profit of $33.58 and it sold after only 26 days. So there are definitely Madewell dresses that are gonna do well. Not all of them though. There are definitely a lot of Madewell dresses that will never sell. So 
And if you come across a Madewell dress in the thrift store, kind of my two questions are, okay, how recent is it and how cute is it? Like, is it something that um, is on trend? Another thing is midi and maxi dresses by Madewell are gonna do way better than mini dresses typically, but there are some mini styles that'll still do pretty well. So it just depends. If you watched my most recent Through If With Me haul, I did pick up a couple of mini dresses as well. So sometimes I'll pick up mini dresses, but um, Madewell dresses hit or miss. You gotta make sure it ticks off certain boxes. Okay, so next was a pair of Frame Lahai skinny jeans. Uh, I must have thrifted these. It's probably in a thrift with me now that I think about it. For $9.99, had them listed for $85, and they sold for $60. So that's great. Uh, very happy about that. Frames can sometimes really surprise you and do really well. So that gave me a gross profit of $35.99, but I... <laughs> But I had these, wow, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this. <laughs> I had these for 684 days. So, okay, it can sometimes surprise you and do really well after sitting for 684 days. <laughs> but whatever, I will happily take it. Some of y'all out there probably would have relisted it and sold it faster than me, but I don't relist very often. So um, that is part of the reason why I have items sit for so long. So maybe I'll talk about relisting and time management and priorities and um, so forth in a podcast episode in the future. That's why I'm excited about the podcast because I can kind of do deep dive into these um, topics. And another thing is that I am going to answer questions from y'all. So I'm just very excited about the podcast and it's launching very soon. So just stay tuned. It's gonna happen this year. Yay, I'm happy about it. Okay. Anyway, next was this new tag, David Tate Reba Wedge Sandal. This is another one from Liquidation. I've never sold David Tate before. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, before Liquidation, which is a nice thing about Liquidation is that you come into contact with brands you would have otherwise never sold. It also um, puts you in contact with brands you don't want. <laughs> There's that. But um, anyway. I had a list from 45, sold full price for 45, so that's great. And it gave me a gross profit of $26.19, took 188 days to sell. All right, next is a Zara Mom Fit Denim Shorts. I'm definitely seeing more and more shorts selling these days. Got these at the bins for $1.04, had them listed for 30, and someone sent me an offer for 20 after I had sent them an offer for 21, 30% off. So I went ahead and accepted it, and that gave me a gross profit of $12.94, and they sold after only 45 days. And then my last sale on Saturday was this NYDJ Henley blouse. Um, I got this at the bins as well for 90 cents, had Alyssa for 25, and someone accepted my offer to like her for 17, 30% off, which gave me a gross profit of $10.68, and it sold after only 40 days. So, very happy about that. NYDJ is definitely a bread and butter brand for me, and uh, the jeans are, of course, going to sell for more than the tops, but Tops are just really easy to pick up and sell, and they're so lightweight that when I'm short on inventory, I'll definitely pick it up. Okay, so let's talk about Sunday, last day of the weekend. I had a total sales number of $418.98, and then I had a gross profit of $234.79. So actually, it beat out Friday when sales, but it lost Friday in profit. So. Sometimes it goes like that. All right, that is because there were a lot, like average cost of goods on this day might have been higher, especially starting out with the first sale of the day on eBay, which was a new attack, a Goldie Nico jean. I got these through online arbitrage, either the real real, I think it was on the real real, for $29.75 and listed them for 120 and so I received an offer on eBay for $70 plus $7.99 shipping, which I accepted, and that gave me a gross profit of $30.01. So I spent about $30 to make about $30, which is not bad, and it, they sold after only 52 days. So uh, high cost of goods, but it sold pretty quickly and gave me a pretty good gross profit. So I love selling a Goldie. It's one of my favorite brands to sell and I'll pay up for it still. Next eBay sale, I had three eBay sales, was this new tag, Free People Hot Tropics sweater. 
Uh, I got this through liquidation and I had it listed for 70 and it sold for 45 plus 9.99 shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $27.93. I listed the all, I had a liquidation palette of free people not last summer, but the summer before that. So <laughs> it took 496 days to sell because that's when I listed all of that stuff. But I've sold a ton of that palette, but I still have a bunch of it still, which is good. I mean, it, it slowly produces sales for me, which is fine. I'm happy with that. And then my last sale on eBay is a new bread and butter brand for me. I think I mentioned this every video now, Judy Blue, because I learned about it from the amazing Becky Park. Definitely watch her YouTube channel if you don't already. I uh, picked these up, I think in a thrift with me, for $7.99 and uh, I had them listed for $40. I received an offer on eBay for $25 plus $7.99 shipping. Maybe could have made a little bit more, um, but I went ahead and accepted it and it gave me a gross profit of $12.11 and it sold after only eight days. So. Happy about that. Judy Blue just sells really, really fast. So I'll definitely be picking it up when I come across it in the future. Okay, so then I had a bunch of sales on Poshmark. If you watch my Ship With Me videos, you know that every Sunday I run a 40% off sale. So I send offers to likers on everything in my closet for 40% off. Poshmark VA does have a feature where you can say don't send if you do bulk offers, don't send offers on items listed in, and you can enter how many days, the last seven days, for instance, if you don't want sent on items sent that week. So I think I did do that this day, and I think I'm gonna keep doing that moving forward, just in the past week. If it had, I've listed it in the past week, don't send 40% off offers on it yet. And I think that's a really cool feature, and it just helps with some customization, and you know, if you just listed it, you probably don't wanna send such a steep discount anyway, so. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue to do that. But my first sale was this Lululemon Swiftly Tech tank in a really pretty yellow honeycomb gold color, size 12. Oh yeah, I got this at Crossroads. I was like, well, that's a weird cost to go. It was $8.51. Um, <laughs> I got it at Crossroads. And the reason my Crossroads cost of goods is weird is because they also include a 3% living wage fee. So. That's where that comes from. Anyways, I had it listed for 38. I think someone accepted my 40% off offer for 22, which gave me a gross profit of $7.07. .07. Not great, but fine. Um, and it sold after only 24 days. So Lululemon just sells really quickly for me. And, and I love picking up at the bins, uh, but I'll definitely pick it up elsewhere as well. Next was a good sale. It did take a very long time to sell. It's this new tag Norma Kamali bikini top. Again, swimsuits are selling really well for me, even bikini separates right now. So if you have any swimsuits in your death pile, get them listed. But this I had for a very long time, like I said. I had a cost of goods of $9.89. I had it listed for 60. Someone accepted my 30% off, offered a liker for 62, which gave me a gross profit of $37.69, but I had it for 751 days. So that's a long time. I love selling Norma Kamali. If you're not familiar with Norma Kamali, I think I talked about it in my bolo list, which is now several, at least a couple of years outdated, but you can still access it on my website. I did a 50 bolo brand list, um, mogibeth.com. You can go and download it for free. And I think Norma Kamali is on there. So if you're not familiar with it, just download that list, take a gander at it. It's, I think it's kind of cute. I spent some time putting it together and it's got some good information. It, some of it's a little bit outdated at this point, but almost all those brands on there, I'd still pick up for the right price. Okay, next is a new tag Brooks Brothers Clark Straight Fit Chino Pants in gray. Still, these pants are still paying dividends. I think I found 11 pairs of them at one point. I think I'm down to like one pair, uh, but I actually found another pair that I recently just listed uh, at the bins. They were a new attack, which was just so cool. Um, and my cost of goods was $1.09. Uh, my listing price was 45. Someone accepted my 40% off offer for 27. So that gave me a gross profit of $20.51 and they sold after 168 days. Happy, I'm gonna continue to pick up new tags, Brooks Brothers, if I ever come across it at the bins. Uh, okay, next is another favorite bread and butter brand, Torrid. Found this super soft romper, to, uh, size two X at the bins for $1.09. Maybe it was the same day. I don't think so. 
No, it wasn't. And I listed it for 38 and it sold for 22, 40% off, which gave me a gross profit of $14.49. And I had it listed for only 61 days, so about two months. Typically, Tord will sell really fast for me. So this one actually took a little bit longer to sell, I think, than average, but still, 61 days is great. Okay, and then I had a bundle sale. So the first was this Ariat, Ariat, Ariat. You guys tell me how to pronounce that. I, but for some reason, that does not stick in my brain. How to, when I read how to pronounce something, I think I just need to hear it. Anyway, Ariat, Ariat uh, Western shirt that I got at the bins for 99 cents. I had it listed for $30, and with this bundle sale, it sold for $19.57, which gave me a gross profit of $13.99, and it took 129 days to sell. I think this is my first time picking up clothing by Ariat. Of course, I have sold a bunch of shoes. Oh, no, 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 The Ariat Tech uh, quarter jet, that sold really well. Um, and I think I talked about that in a Ship With Me video. That sold really well. This was my first like just Western wear uh, by this brand that I picked up and it performed pretty well, so I'd probably pick it up again. Uh, and then within this same bundle, there was this BB Dakota Love Walk-In faux suede moto jacket so cute this i picked up a while ago i'm surprised it took so long to sell because i think it's absolutely so so cute i was so excited to find it at the bins for 90 cents had it listed for 50 it sold within this bundle for 32 dollars and 61 cents which gave me a gross profit of 24 dollars and 51 cents took 317 days to sell though so almost a year i don't know why it's cute i would pick it up again <laughs> Um, and then lastly was this Zara khaki pull-on drawstring pants. These sold quickly because it was one of the few items I listed this month. Um, or actually, no, it's, I listed it in late February. Uh, I had a cost of goods of 90 cents. Um, listed it for 35, it sold for $22.83, which gave me a gross profit of $16.69, and they sold after only 21 days. So I like picking up Zara, of course. It's a great bread and butter brand, and I pick it up at the bins a lot. Uh, if, it's, if it's a substantial or cute piece, I'll pick it up at the bins. So that was that bundle. Great bundle sale. I love having bundle sales. Next was another Torrid piece. Uh, this was a Torrid Ava stretch cami in this cute gingham print with daisies on it. Picked this up at the bins for 90 cents. I had it listed for 25. It sold for 40% off for 15, which gave me a gross profit of $9.08, and it sold after 41 days. And then my last sale on Sunday, and my last sale of the weekend, was something I had just recently listed and I showed in my bins thrift video, which I'll link up on the screen. And um, there's this Adidas Raining Champ collab prime knit hoodie zipper sweatshirt. Got this at the bins for $1.27. Uh, I listed it for $65. I think in my video I projected it to sell for $40. Um, and since I had it only listed for six days, when I received an offer for 30, I was like, should I hold out for what I projected to sell for? But I just decided to go ahead and accept <laughs> the offer. Um, you know, I, it, I still had a gross profit of $20.71, so I accepted the $30 offer and uh, had a quick flip after only six days. So, yeah, I just accepted it. But I think it could have potentially sold for more, but I'm just trying to sell things and get things moving and make money. So just keep that wheel going. I'm not being too precious or trying to cling to any items too hard. Just happy to uh, make sales, especially since I'm listing so little. I think maybe I'm, oh, I'm compensating for a lack of listing by accepting offers, which is fine. I think that's potentially a smart strategy that I would recommend if you are incapacitated in any way, whether just you don't have time anymore for your reselling business, maybe just consider accepting lower sales and you can keep the ball rolling a little bit in your business and it won't be so uh, stagnant. But yeah, so overall for the weekend, I had a total sales of $1,199.14, so about $1,200 and a gross profit of $669.53. So again, like I said, I'm happy with that result within the context of me listing virtually nothing. <laughs> so uh, I need to figure out again how to list more, but for now, happy with how it's going and um, hopefully 
I can figure out my systems, get to listing. You know, honestly, 50 within 10 days, that might be my new norm. Like I might have to just slash what I was doing in half to 150 per month. I would like to not have to do that, but I might just have to accept that I can't do everything. We'll see, it'll evolve over time. But anyways, if you're full time, I'd be really interested to hear how many you list per month, especially if you're solo. I know everyone's different, it really depends on your business model, it depends on a million different factors, but I'm just really curious. And if you're part time and you wanna like tell me how many hours you spend in your business and how many you're listing, be really interested to hear from you as well. But I'm just trying to re again calibrate and figure out what my new goals should be. So with the input I'm putting into my business, I'm happy with the output and that's all we can ask for. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Again, we do new videos every Monday and Thursday. And so I'd be so happy if you subscribed to the YouTube channel. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.